right, hey guys, so I'm still here at the Folger Tech booth, and now I have John here from Folger Tech. Hi, uh, I'm John Folger from Folger Tech. Um, we're here set up with our booth. Um, I guess we can talk about some of our products that we're showing off here at the show today. We got the, the Mega, which is a pretty new release. Um, it's supposed to be a lower cost version of the FT5, basically. A little bit more competitive with some of the Chinese critters on the market. With a 300 by 300 bed, uh, it has the MKS controller, it has all the other goodies that sort of the FT5 has, but a little bit cheaper. Um, right now we're having them at the show and basically we have them down for 297 bucks. So wow, that's that's yeah. really cheap. Because I said uh, I said online this is a very close competitor to the CR10s. It's yep. the dual uh, Z-axis, which is very big in there. Uh, you know, it's the the uh, much more sturdy gantry uh, because you're using ACM now. Yeah, we're no longer using the melanine. Yeah, yeah. and we got rid of that uh, even on the when we went to the the basically the R2 here. That was one of the major changes. So we did a couple of big changes that customers were kind of saying, hey, we need this on the R1. One was the 24 volt system so that took a lot of load off stuff helped the heated bed tremendously yeah heated bed because I have yeah. I, I call it the the FT5 uh, version 2 because yeah. I had the second iteration of the bed and there oh, were yeah. several iterations yep. throughout yeah. its lifetime and now that we had the 24 volts there's been the one bed in the 24 volt system it heats up nicely we increase the wattage of the power supply and the bed so it's like an extra 130 watts on the bed which really is what the kick to get it you yeah, know yeah. increasing fast but the ACM it's an aluminum composite material and people that were in more humid climates they had issues with the melamine basically swelling up or things like that this stuff's you know it's prettier uh, yeah. but it, it's, it's not a nice shine to it. it definitely has that and basically it's a lot more rugged um, the other thing we did was the single Z motor so people had issues with the the alignment yeah, getting a skewed yeah so now they're connected via timing belt so you can't skew your left or right after you mount it in place so that that definitely sped people up as far as repetitive prints and stuff like that uh, yeah, I, I really like the new look of it. Uh, I actually just did some changes on mine. I had bought some just some aluminum brackets from you yeah, to yeah. switch mine out. Uh, again, I'm moving, so yeah. I want to be sure that nothing would break or anything on it. Yeah. Um, now, are you selling, can you upgrade your R1 to yep. an R2? Yep, we do have the R2 upgrade kit. So right now we offer the mechanical and belt components, and usually we had an A or B grade. So we had a lot of, you know, we see and see all the parts ourselves for these frames. So we had some that had you know, blemishes and stuff like things, that. Things happen, I, yeah. I know I'll know that. So, so we're like, well, we don't want to throw these away, so we offered them cheaper to customers, basically, that want to do that upgrade and don't want to spend the money, because it is still like 20 pounds of frame and stuff like that, and we give them the belts and the additional hardware they need to do the Z conversion as well. We do sell the 24 volt beds by themselves, so people just want to go down that path. Um, but they would have to upgrade their power supply in order to do that. Supply. The controller can already handle it. So you need to upgrade your bed, your fans, your extruder heater yep. uh, which we all we sell all those and they're cheap money so um, yeah the heater's like what two three dollars yeah, I mean, it's a couple bucks like for that or something like yeah. that so you know it's easy money um, but you know so if people want to go down the 24 volt bed heats up amazingly fast comparatively so it, it's definitely people are liking that and it also takes a lot of load off the electronics because basically you know you double your voltage you cut your amperage down yeah and some people would have if they didn't actually put their wire in the terminal correctly yeah, yeah, they would get you know burnouts so, so it's way less load on the electronics and that definitely is good so yeah. you know um, yeah so, so what else do we have here so we, we talked to um, his name's escaping me uh, Zach so we talked to Zach about the new filament that he's doing there yeah. um, so you're gonna be helping him sell this filament because he's a local vendor yeah. pretty much to you guys up so there we're stopping the Chinese filament on our website completely and we're going to you know they're they're right in Vermont so for us they're they're our neighbors basically it's just a backwards New Hampshire basically next to us yeah. um, <laughs> But you know, it's all nature works. It's all good quality stuff. It's U.S. Pe you know made pellets. Uh, nature works. I think they're right in Nebraska. So I mean, because PLA is you know, polylactic acid, so it's made from corn. Yep. So Nebraska, that's a lot of corn. <laughs> it really so is. you know, that's why it's all made there. So it's definitely quality stuff. And it, you know, he, they've been making filament for other industries, non 3D printer industries, since 1969. So they have the experience, and it's a very small step to jump into the 3D field from that field that they're already yes. in. So the experience is there and it's going to be very competitive on the with the US filaments that are already out there. So, you know. Yeah, that's, that's all good stuff. 
Oh, well, wait a second. Okay, so um, a little announcement there. Sorry. All right. So what is the what's the FT5 R2 going for right now? Uh, well, we have a sale for the show. It's only going to go on for basically a week and a half sale, but it's uh, the 424 uh, price. So it's 15 percent off as the sale, store wide. So if you want other stuff, along that's with almost it. as good as Black Friday. But yeah. that's still that's a doggone good deal. I mean, yeah. but 76 bucks off. Yeah. You kind of can't argue with that. Yeah, so it's a good deal. Um, and as I said, it's store wide. We also kind of our unheard of product is we have our CNC kit. It's kind of buried behind us here. You can't really yeah. see it too well, but um, and that one we're also doing the discount on. So with the standalone controller, so it's a full LCD color graphical. You don't need a computer. You just load it on. You can oh, wow, jog okay. it. Um, that one's down to 679. It's all water jetted quarter inch aluminum parts. So it thinks a tank, but it, it's also the bed area itself uh, is about a meter by half a meter. Wow! So, so you have, that's pretty massive. Yeah, so you can do some cool stuff. So a lot of people in the 3D industry, it's a small step for them to jump into the CNC yeah. fields. And yeah, as I said, if I had a garage or something like that, I would be all over this, make a mess, and go at it. But yeah. currently, I don't have the space for that. Yeah, so a little bit more room, a little bit, but you can start doing metal and you know cool things like that. Yeah. So it's definitely very competitive uh, CNC as well. It's kind of. No one seems to know about it right now. It's still kind of starting out in there, but it's definitely you know something we have on our website if people are interested. So, cool. all right. Well, uh, I mean, thank you for taking the time. And where can they find all your products? Uh, just foldertech.com. Excellent. So, thank you for taking out the time, and uh, we'll look to see more from you later. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.